Okay, this is simple. Yeah. Wild, blueberry. Okay, but noir. noir. What does that mean? I mean, you know, I know, I know what it means, but what does that really mean? It's really, it's a, you know, it's wild main blueberries blended with a really amazing um, black tea that we created. Uh, High Mountain Black Tea is from China and India. Did a special blend for it. And just, you know, it's like the blueberries just sing. You know, no one's crazy enough to put wild blueberries, you know, in a blend like this, but we just went, took it to And, and that's something to point out for people that wouldn't know much about tea, and I've had to learn as I go. Most times when you have a uh, tea that's got, you know, strawberry or blueberry, it's actually not real fruit that you're drinking. It's stuff that they sort of mash together to make it. And a lot of times it's not, they call it natural flavoring, but it's not even really good for you. It's so true. So everything we serve at Madame Zuzu's and through uh, MadameZuzu's.com is, is all natural, which I really appreciate because uh, that's what we want to represent. But I have to say, on the, on the noir, I was sort of in the idea of like hippies picking this at night. Was good. That's the poet in me. I wanted to go into like people in like moonlit fields. So, I didn't that. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Yeah, we can go with All that. Right. Well, blueberry like noir. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Subtle, but you know, yeah. that's, that's the right kind of subtle for a fruit tea. Not a big fan of like drinking the uh, Kool Aid. They're drinking the ice cream yeah. tea or whatever, you know. <laughs> Grape soda. Nah, it's really nice. Yeah. Let me ask you this since we're on the subject. Because yeah. a lot of uh, tea companies kind of fake their, you know, their strawberries and their blueberries, yeah. how do you get the right essence of the, the blueberry taste into the, into the tea in a way that's not compromised? So, I mean, to get extra technical is we we have the wild blueberries, you know, forged by hand. There's no other way to pick wild blueberries. And then the only way to preserve them in nature and to give you the most flavor is through freeze drying. And it's freeze dried and then put it into the blend. And once you freeze dry it, just all it does is take all the water out. So you have nothing but the natural flavor of the fruit. Interesting. I still into the idea of people picking stuff at night. <laughs> I just I'm not calling it. 